Chevy. That's what she likes. Coming down my eagle, just smoking them brakes. Not What's going on, mother truckers? First off, question of the day, how many of you have smoked your brakes going down a mountain? You know, uh, comment down below the situation and what happened and basically so that others can learn from it. I had a lot of subscribers tag me in this video. I've seen it on CDO Live, I've seen it on Facebook, I've seen it on YouTube, I've seen it on TikTok and people want to know what my thoughts are about this. And first off, all I have to say is this video is owned by Elizabeth Ashley. Follow her on TikTok. It seems like she has a lot of fun over there. And it seems like she's trying to do something uh, pretty neat and fun and entertainment and try to help truck drivers as well. So recently she was on uh, Mount Eagle and she basically compares this situation to what happened uh, to Rohel in Colorado. So if you don't remember the story, uh, basically a couple months ago, extremely viral, talking about 110 years uh, for just crashing into a whole bunch of people. And, you know, a lot of people passed away and it had to deal with brake failure. So let me play this clip real quick. And basically she sees that this truck, the the tires are just burning up and they're smoking. I got a driver in front of me that's uh, yeah. coming down my eagle, just smoking them brakes. Not she tries to her up on the CB radio and there's no response. And then she goes right next to her and then she yells out the window. And, you know, the video cuts, but I'm thinking that, you know, the truck driver pulled over. But sometimes, you know, you're new, you're nervous, and you just don't have enough training. So that you're going to be going down a mountain. First off, there's always a brake check area. Some places might not have it. It might just say like 5 or 6% grade. But... When you're at the top of the mountain, if it says brake check area, you got to go into there. You got to check your brakes, man. That's the biggest thing. You know, second thing, make sure you're in a low gear. Third thing, they always talk about this Jake break. Jake break, Jake break, Jake break. But the honest truth is a lot of new truck drivers don't know what the hell that is. Why? Because they call it an engine brake on the panel. So here's the panel, what it looks like. Here's the symbol. So why do they call it check engine brake? a Jake break. The truth is, well, the company that started it was Jacobs. So let's break down a little history lesson. Jacob engine brake has been on the market since 1961, better known as the Jake break. Some 26 years later, and despite the advances in friction braking, the need for such a system was experienced by inventor Clessy L. Cummins. So there you go. That's why they call it the Jake break. So great job, Elizabeth Ashley, for trying to stop that truck driver. You know, you're doing your best. And I love that. You know, that's what we do out here. We're a community. We try to help people. But with that said, just try to make sure you're in a low gear at the top of the hill. If there's a brake check area, make sure you stop to check your brakes. Especially do not ride the brakes. Make sure you do the stab braking. So if you're riding it all the way down, you're going to smoke your brakes just like in this situation. And at the end of the day, hit that Jake brake in that low gear. You know, stab brake. And also, girl, get yourself a CB radio. I know a lot of people sound like they're just talking ish on there, but these are the times when you need it, and that's when it's most important. So.